Hello, hello, hello. This is Shona, and I am welcoming you to 360 for Life, the 21 day cleanse challenge. Okay, it is going to be an awesome and amazing and delicious cleanse. I promise you, you will enjoy every single moment of it. So today we will open up the floor to an orientation for you to explain to you what's going to happen in these 21 days and why it's so important to do it now. Okay. And we're also going to explain what you can expect, your expectations, as well as um, what the expectations of the actual program is going to, um, why, why it will benefit you, right? So thank you so much for your listening ear. Thanking you for um, just being present, just being present in this moment, just understanding how important it is to be present and to focus in and to absorb and, and uh, in, incorporate that knowledge and that wisdom and to your internal psyche so that you can get through the three weeks because it is a challenge to release some of the habits that you have formed in your life. It is a challenge in order for you to tweak your recipes, taking some things out that you know aren't agreeable with your system and putting some things in that are going to help you to detox and to eliminate and to be able to uh, get to a, 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 another plateau, all right? And to experience a different type of energy. So some of the foods that we're eating now um, give us a certain type of energy, but it's not natural. And instead of us benefiting from that energy and our it benefiting our lives and our quality of life, it actually takes us a step backward. So this cleanse allows us to rejuvenate, to restore, to recalibrate our body system with natural substances that actually are understood by the body and metabolize well and go ahead and do the job on a holistic basis, right? So some of the nutrients that we absorb from foods, we understand what they're doing, but in actuality, the food is intelligent. When it gets into your system, it takes care of a lot of things that you might not even have known were needed that attention okay so what we're going to do is introduce those types of foods that actually help the body to eliminate help the body to detox help the body to recalibrate naturally at the same time giving the nutrients that the body needs in order to restore and energize and to promote a healthy um, quality of life on a natural basis and so, and so what we want to do now is um, make sure that we have um, certain foods in our regimen and certain foods eliminated from our regimen for these 21 days. And in stages, in stages, we will get to get through the whole three weeks. So everything's not going to be thrown at you all at once and expect to do this, um, <laughs> you know, it, it, everything in a moment, you know, because that's hard and it's not sustainable. So you take one week and you have a certain assignment and you take another week and you have a certain assignment. And so you get through it like that in stages. And it's much more successful and it's much more sustainable. We also want to make sure that you understand what kinds of foods are being introduced and why they're being introduced. So what I do is I make sure to 
sends you not only recipes, but information. Information on the, the type of food. For example, um, kale. Why kale? Okay, what does kale do for you? What are some of the benefits of kale? And how does it fit in the whole scheme of things when you're talking about a cleanse? Parsley, same thing for basil or thyme. So with the information that I'm giving you, you'll have not only the experience, but the knowledge behind that experience to understand what it is that you're doing. So um, we'll be taking things on the first week. We'll be taking things out of your grocery list that don't serve you for the cleanse. For example, sugar, of course, uh, baked goods, processed foods, right? And you want to scale down on your meats. You want to scale down on your meats. And with your starches, um, with your starchy foods, start chopping up some of that parsley, chopping up some of that basil into that food so that it can be metabolized um, for you on, um, on, on a, a, better, a better scale so that your body can cleanse and can be restored and rejuvenated, all right? So we won't be doing things like pasta or bread or, or, or bagels, you know. We'll be doing a lot lighter things. And then uh, for your snacks, there'll be things like dates, raisins, um, things like strawberries, celery, okay, avocado even. Avocado makes a delicious snack. So I will send you videos of recipes, information on different foods that you're eating and why it's good for a cleanse and what it does in the restoration of your uh, body system. And then as we move on forward and throughout the process, we'll be requiring more and more of you, right? So we'll have drinks, some delicious drinks that are full of antioxidants and wonderful uh, ingredients to cleanse the body. So you're drinking your cleanses um, and you're enjoying these, these, delicious, these delicious foods so that you can have a good experience so that it can be sustainable, sustainable, right? And in a lot of cases, we do something, we do a cleanse and then it's over. It's really over. And we don't go back to it again because it was so difficult. Well, how about taking some of the difficulty out and putting in delicious things that are not only easy to prepare, but everybody in the family will enjoy. So it's not a big burden to just make yourself a cleanse and to go through it, but it's something that you can do on a regular basis because it's enjoyable. Take, for example, sorrow. Sorrow is a delicious food. It's a delicious um, uh, plant and you make a juice out of it. But now you're going to put some lemon into it. You're going to put some cinnamon into it or some ginger into it. So all of these ingredients along with the sorrow will help to rejuvenate your body, rejuvenate your system. And this is what you drink. So first week, it's going to be eliminating some of the poisonous toxins that are in your body by just cleansing waters, infused waters, really easy infused waters with things that are on your grocery list from the um, email that I sent you, all right? So different things like thyme and lemon tea, basil tea, mint tea, different things like that. And as far as the infused waters go, you can infuse your water with fruit overnight. And in the morning, just drain that water. It's full of those nutrients that is matriculated in all night long. And that's what you drink in the morning to break it fast. No fried foods, no foods high in cholesterol, um, different things of that nature to gunk up your system. We want to energize you and release those toxins that are weighing you down and be able to 
rejuvenate and restore your body systems just by making these small, slight adjustments in your normal behavior. So um, the infused waters could include things like blueberries or strawberries, even celery, um, kiwi. We send uh, recipes out for whatever, uh, whatever kind of fruit that is on that list. You can absolutely infuse your water with it overnight and drink the water in the morning. And we suggest you make a half a gallon container of the water. So you're not making water every single night, okay? So a half a gallon container of the water, you can have cucumber, lemon, cucumber, mint, uh, water, lemon, orange, peppermint water. So many different little recipes that can really stimulate your body first thing in the morning with those nutrients. That's what we want. That's where we want to go with this. So after the water, you wait 30 minutes. You have to drink that water as quickly as possible, about 12, we're from 12 to 16 ounces of water in the morning and five or 10 minutes. Please do not brush your teeth before you drink this water because you don't want to incorporate that poisonous toothpaste in your system first thing in the morning. You want to just enjoy the waters that are coming into you, all right? So you can brush your teeth after you drink your water. But the first thing that you want to do to break your fast is drink that infused water, right? And then wait 30 minutes. After that, you can go ahead and have some breakfast. We um, also collected certain breakfast items that you can have, but enjoy your breakfast. Enjoy your breakfast. If you're used to oatmeal, go ahead, use your oatmeal. But add some blueberries and strawberries and cinnamon, okay? If you um, would like to have a, a, a fried or um, some kind of fried food or whatever, some meat or whatever, cut back, have, or cut back on it. Cut back on it. Enjoy your breakfast, but cut back on those things that you, are, that you know that your body is not being served by, right? And that'll be the first week. So you can ease into it, okay? You can ease into it. And by the second week, we're gonna have designated breakfast for you to have, you know, more certain days. So ease into it on the first week and incorporate maybe three or four days that you're just having those special breakfasts with the instructions, you know, with the different uh, videos that I send for those particular type of, uh, for those particular type of recipes. Three days, I mean, start somewhere, start somewhere first week. Second week, up the ante a little bit. This is a challenge. Okay, so don't be complacent. Don't stay where you are. Pray on it, meditate on it. And we have videos also for that to help you to understand how to breathe when you're doing your, doing your deep breathing exercises, how to meditate when you go into meditation and why this is so important. Why this is so important as you're moving through these challenges because addictions are real. And in a lot of cases, you find that there are addictive elements, ingredients in these foods. So we want to get to more natural foods so that, that, so that they can cleanse our body and restore our systems and recalibrate and realign our systems on a natural, um, on a natural vibration so that we can be healthy and well and happy and enjoy a quality of life that we deserve, that the creator wants for us, okay? So third week is going to be smoothies and salads. And yes, you can incorporate your, uh, your, your normal foods, but processed foods, baked goods, 
and fried foods are off the list on the third week. We want to get into it and we want to really, really be dedicated to it. Okay. Um, so we don't want you to get uh, uh, hungry or be starved in any way, shape, or form. So we'll send plenty of different recipe ideas, plenty of different videos where you can go ahead and get that grocery list and go and get those foods into your system. The grocery list has certain foods in, uh, incorporated into it so that you can experience this cleanse. So we want to be sure to help you through the process by sending you enough information and, and giving you enough encouragement and making it fun. Um, we have a Facebook page, it's called 360 for Life. If you haven't liked it by now, like the Facebook page and comment, comment and, and get involved and get engaged. Be in the moment in this 21 day cleanse. So, so very important. So very important for you to be in the moment and enjoy yourself. So make those comments, say what your challenges are. See what your challenges are. Voice, uh, voice your, your, your challenges, voice your frustrations, you know, voice your accomplishments. Want to hear how you enjoyed that, you know, that new recipe or that new flavor, you know. There'll be spices that you might not have ever even uh, tasted before. So these things are important. Spices like, like mustard seeds, okay? Once you get into grinding your own seeds so that you can release those nutrients right there, right then for yourself, instead of just having a flavor and all the nutrients have gone away because it's been sitting on the shelf for so long. And you get a little coffee grinder and you grind up your seeds and you use whatever it is that you need to use right away and it's fresh, it's alive, and it's ready to go and ready to work in your body. So this is going to be you, your moment, your 21-day transformation. And it's going to be so worth it. But we need you to be engaged. We need you to watch the videos. First video that we'll send out to you is the monk. Let's listen to the monk because he's telling you how monks start their day and why it's important for these five essential uh, uh, things to start your day, why they're so important to pattern the rest of your day, to move through the rest of your day, why they're so important to, um, to, to just develop behavioral, um, different types of behaviors. Why is it so important to make your bed? Why is it so important to settle your mind in the morning? Why is it so important to get up and not have a whole lot of bad news coming at you? Why is it so important to not have a heavy dinner? Okay, so these are behavioral changes that you need to know about why they're so important to you in your transformation. Because this 21 day cleanse is a transformation and it's going to release energy. It's gonna release and, and unhinge some of the things that have been keeping you bogged down and in a rut. So a lot of us need to break free of some of these, some of these chains and burdens that we didn't even know were keeping us from elevating, were keeping us from moving to the next level. Okay, so this is a holistic, a holistic transformation. So it deals with the mind, 
the body and the spirit, everything. You need all three of those um, components of yourself to be engaged in this 21 day cleanse. Because it's that important. If you nurture one without nurturing the other, you're going to be out of alignment, unbalanced. So you nurture all three, nurturing them, uh, paying special attention to different things like your rest, different things like your breathing, your water. If you nurture all three parts of yourself, then you can be balanced. Once you're balanced, that is sustainable. It becomes more sustainable in order for you to make a change in your life. And so when you go back and you start tasting those things that have come back, you know, you, you've gotten rid of them, you've gotten rid of the flavor, you've gotten rid of the, the desire, you've gotten rid of the calling, you know, for, for that particular craving for that particular thing. But then when you go back to, it doesn't taste the same. It's not as appealing anymore because you've replaced it with something that is delicious, something that is wonderful, something that's nutritious and sustainable. Also sustainable in your pocket. So these changes that we're making, these grocery lists that we're building and, and introducing you to these different things are not expensive. They're not expensive. They're actually doable economically. And so when you weigh the balances, in any case, when you weigh the balances of being uh, uh, lethargic or not having enough energy or, or you know, um, having a sickness or um, that, you, that you want to get rid of, when you weigh how much it costs to purchase some of these things against, you know, not having to deal with that uh, irregularity in your system, in your body, then you understand it's absolutely worth it, whatever it costs, it's absolutely worth it because you're worth it. So we want to be able to get you there. We want you to be able to enjoy it and we want you to be able to sustain these behaviors throughout the rest of your, um, throughout the rest of your journey, not just for three weeks, but making changes to the way you pick your spices, making changes to the way you wake up in the morning, making changes to the way you cook your food and prepare your food, making changes to the way you decide on what you're going to drink. So I look forward to taking this journey with you. I look forward to um, just being in the moment with this whole experience because right now we are in the clinches of very difficult times and we need to make these changes. We need to make these simple changes to get us through. And if we do it as a tribe, if we do it together, then we will absolutely get to the other side. Happy, healthy, rejuvenated, and in good spirits, and in good spirits. So make sure that you look out for your emails, drop your email into the chat or contact me on Facebook at 360-F-O-R-L-I-F-E, 360-4-LIFE. Let me know that you are in, you are in it to win it, okay? And um, we can go through this journey together. My name is Shona Levy, and I am also on Facebook as Shona Levy. I have a vegan plate please page on Facebook also. You can like that um, if you're interested in veganism and that whole journey. So that's called Vegan Plate Please. And you can like that page. Um, you can also go to 
my uh, website, www.cancerbegoneseries.com. Cancer, B-E-G-O-N-E, series.com and sign up there for my communications. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining. Thanking you for just uh, being present in the moment. If you have any questions, you can always message me at 360 for Life. I'd love to hear from you, hear about your experiences and how well you are enjoying your journey. Have a great day. Enjoy the cleanse and welcome to the 21 day cleanse challenge.